This video tutorial is provided by the College of Graduate Studies at UCF. In this video, I will review requirements for formatting figures, provide an example of what a properly formatted figure looks like, and demonstrate how to implement these changes in an existing ETD. The use of figures refers to any photographs, charts, diagrams, maps, or other illustrative materials within the document. Generally, if it's not a table, it's a figure. If you did not create the figure, you must place the source information directly below the image and include a copyright permission letter in your appendix. Figures should be placed within the document as close as possible to the text referring to them, or they may be collected in an appendix. If a figure does not fit on the page, you may insert a page break and move it to a new page. If necessary, turn the page to landscape orientation. Each figure should have a corresponding label and number. This figure title should be placed below the image in the document. Each figure should have adequate space both above and below to separate it from the body text. Within the sample ETD, you can see a properly formatted figure. From the list of figures, there is a link to figure 1. The title is placed below the figure with any sources or notes placed just below the figure caption. Notes may also be placed between the figure image and caption. This video will show you how to use the caption style to create a linked figure and use auto numbering. In the Word document, begin by turning on the Show Hide feature. This will display all formatting already in the document. For this tutorial, I will insert a picture. Position the cursor where you want the image to appear, then go to the Insert tab in the Home ribbon and choose Pictures. Once the image has been added, place the cursor below it. Do not click on the image itself. And then go to the References tab. Under References, click Insert Caption. Click OK and Figure 1 will appear below the image. Place your cursor after Figure 1 and type the figure title. It should appear in the caption style. When you insert a caption, Word generates the caption style automatically. You can now modify this style by right-clicking on caption under the Home Styles menu. Because it is based on the normal style, it should retain the font used for body text. However, it may be a different color and font size. Change the font size to between 10 and 12 points. If you choose a color for captions, be sure to use the same color for all figure and table captions in the document. When you generate the list of figures, it will now include a link to the caption style for the figure title. Also, the caption style will keep track of figure numbers and keep them in sequential order. If you insert a figure caption above this one, Word automatically renumbers them. To update the figure caption, highlight the number and right-click to open the editing menu. Here you can choose Update Field. If the figure is too large to fit on the page, you can also go to the Page Layout menu and change the page orientation to Landscape. You can view the video tutorial on page orientation to see how section breaks are used to turn one page to landscape or a custom page size while keeping the rest of the document in portrait. This concludes the video tutorial for figures. If you have any further questions, please use the Format Help section of the Thesis and Dissertation Services site. You may also refer to the PDF instruction file, Figures and Tables. Please view the list of figures instruction file.
to learn how to create a linked list of figure titles. For more video tutorials, please return to the Graduate Thesis and Dissertation web course.